Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yolanda and um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial with uh, on a, for a mini album using this Prima marketing paper. Now I don't have any magnets. I've completely run out during the lockdown. So um, I'm going to be using ribbon to as closures on some of my pages. Now this particular album is going to look very similar, it's going to be very similar to the baby one I posted the other day. So I always do my covers last, it's just, oops, it's just a thing. <laughs> so I am going to take off this paper because I think this would look beautiful on the cover and I'm going to put it aside just in case, otherwise I might use it and then I've got nothing for my cover. And then this paper is so beautiful and so thick I am not going to use cardstock as backing like I normally do um, for instance in this one uh, I'm just going to use it straight on and of course you also save a lot of paper like this so you can see this is just as usual too beautiful so I'm gonna take some pages and the album I'm going to make is obviously going to be smaller. I'm putting this aside because I'm probably going to use those. Then that baby one because that one is absolutely huge. Look at this. Oh, I love this paper. I'm loving it. Um, I'm trying to decide which one to use for the first page. I know which one. I've decided. This one. The mosaic. See, and that's on the other side. So, there are five pages. And what I can tell of each design. Perfect. Perfect. So, we, I'm going to do this in parts. Because otherwise, it'll just be hours and hours. So, the first thing I'm going to do, let me bring this here, is just cut this part off. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's do this one. And this gorgeous one. Let's do... Now this is not a beginner's tutorial, so I'm assuming you know how to put an album together, a mini album, the cover and the concertina, but um, which I will be doing at the end. So this album is going to be seven and a half by six. So let's cut this now by six, because we are doing the first page that goes on in the inner cover. So we want it six wide and then we want it seven and a half long that means that we have to cut this by eight and a half to include the flaps. Oh this one doesn't have flaps what am I saying? This one will go on another one I'm not going to waste it. So this one will be seven and a half. go because I can always use this one for page two <laughs> so this is page one that goes on the inner cover of the album oops oh my gosh did I shake the whole camera I did I'm so sorry <laughs> all right let's put this aside and the first thing we're gonna do let's put this aside as well you know, when the paper is this thick, you don't, and double sided. Of course, if it wasn't double sided, then I would definitely be using cardstock to back it on, but I don't need to. So I want to make a pocket. Oh. Isn't this gorgeous? <clears throat> So the pocket is going to go all the way, so we know that it's seven and a half. And I'm just going to use my pen, oh, pencil, where is it, here it is. I'm using my pencil 
to make this pocket which is going to go like so so we approximately there enough room so I'm going to cut that all the way down quickly which is about right and all I'm going to do and then of course I'm going to score it for the flaps and this particular pocket I'm only going to score it on the sides half an inch Now we know it's seven and a half long, so I only need to do it here. Seven and a, uh, no, yes, here. And then I'm going to cut the rest off to leave half an inch there. Gorgeous. So this one I am not going to make a flap on there. There's no need for this particular pocket. So I'm just double checking that it's all okay, which it is. So that is for the pocket. And then I'm just sorry. I'm, oh, let me see what I did here. Then we need that uh, the two flaps. So let's see what papers I've got here. Oopsie. <laughs> huh, is that the same width it is, huh? So I can probably make there. And I think, oh, look at that. So perfect. But I like this paper. I think that's a bit long because my waterfall is going there. Hands up if you've done mosaicing before. I think this is fine. See, I want to use what I have, so I'm actually going to use this piece to make my side flaps. I don't have to be any particular size, so you can make them big or small. And for me, this is fine. So that is four and a half, actually, going down. And it is six, so I'm gonna cut it by three. But then it's gonna be a little bit narrow. I'm humming and hawing again, aren't I? Let me see. I'll cut it three. If it doesn't work, I can just cut another piece. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. So again we're gonna make half an inch flaps. Like so. And like so. I'm probably going to make four pages all together for this mini album. We shall see how, it, how long it gets. So I'm going to do that. Which is fine because this is now going to go on here, this way. Perfect. Yes. And then I pre cut these out, this trim, using this border punch. So you can just use whatever border punch you have. Because I just thought it would just give it a little bit more va va voom. Hmm. So what did I say this was? Four and a half. So I'm just going to cut. 
two of these to four and a half. And I'm using this glue. This is Crafters, the Atlas Crafters glue. Um, I buy it from Hers Annie. And I use this for everything. It does fabric and um, it dries fast. And if you make a mistake and you put the glue in the wrong place, you can just wipe it off and re glue in the right place. I use it for my journals. Of course, now my mini albums and all the ephemera and stuff I make. So, I'm going to add this here. And so, it's a little bit long there. Don't ask me how, why. It's just before I, oops, before I press it down. That should be fine. Let's just do that and then I'll cut off that edge there. Yeah, that'll do. See, it looks much prettier, I think. So let's do this one. And I'm cutting off these wanderers at the end because they'll just get annoying and broken. Well, I didn't need to cut off the other end, but there you go. Oh, yes, I did. It's <laughs> right, glue it. So this is a sort of a more advanced mini album. I wouldn't try this if I was a beginner. <laughs> Make sure it's kind of straight that I can get it, and that's fine. Let's cut that off. Make sure it's absolutely straight, which it is. So, these two pieces look at that, I think it looks very nice with that will go on there and then I am gonna make the waterfall now there is a tutorial on how I do my waterfalls so um, I'm gonna make it quickly now I am gonna do three waterfalls look at this gorgeous paper I think I'll use this side then when you open it up you got that side which is fine so we are gonna make these I just want to double check more or less uh, four and a quarter yeah I'm gonna make this four and a quarter by six and three quarters let's have a look so the width four and a quarter because I want you to be able to put a four by six on here and then so six and a quarter but now we have to add another half an inch for the spine so you're gonna cut it at six and three quarters so I'm gonna do two more I'm gonna use this one what size is that I oh, know, that's what four and a quarter width, six and three quarters. And we need one more. I'm going to grab another a different uh, paper, a different sheet, I mean. I think going to faff and hum and hard too much. I'm going to use this one. I'm just cutting off that extra bit. I always keep these bits because I normally land up using them. If not in my journals, then in the... So again, for the last piece of the waterfall, four and a quarter by 
six and three quarters. And I'm probably going to use this piece. So we're going to score it. I need my little one. There we go. So let's score that. And we'll do a tester to make sure it all fits. And I'm also kind of doing this a little bit by ear because I promised someone I would do a tutorial. So this is it. Because normally I try and plan everything down to a T. And I'm doing so half an inch always for the flaps. I think I'm, it looks too long to me. What have I done? I think it's too long. How much is this now? Six and a quarter an inch. Let's see. And that's done. Put that aside. And this now is going to go on here. So I want to double check that everything is more or less going to fit. I always do this. That's how you calculate how many waterfalls you can put in. And I think this is perfect. Yes, it's perfect. And before I do any gluing, I always like to, I'm going to do seven millimeters. Do round corners on my waterfalls. You can do any, uh, what, use whatever corner punch you have. It doesn't have to be seven millimeters, it just happened to have it on this one. It can be any type of corner. So now, let's quickly do, oops, get back here. Don't really want that at the top. Now I'm gonna put this at the bottom, yes. Now, this should be enough. Is that the right length? Yeah. So this is a just a piece of the scrap from what I've been cutting. And now, well, let's glue. You can glue it and you can also, of course, use your, your uh, tape. Double-edged, double-sided tape. First one, well, let me just lift it up, goes like so, I'm not pressing it down just yet, second one, I just find it easier to do mine this way, rather than stick them individually direct on the page. Now let's put the next one, let's make sure it lines up before anything gets pressed, oops, Ugh. gets pressed down. Pressing it because you want to just make sure it's as aligned as you can possibly oh. <laughs> get it. There we go. Okay, I think I'm just being fussy now. I'm just going to pull it just a little bit more there. 
Yep, perfect. See how easy it is? Now press it down. Let's just put this glue on top on because it does dry quickly and then I'm just going to cut off the overhang there. There we go. And just to make sure it's down. So this now is going to go on here on your pocket and that's more or less in the middle which is just perfect so I am actually going to glue that on so now you glue or use double sided tape on that little bit over there always like to make sure my corners have got glue because I really don't like them lifting so let's put that down let's keep my noggin out of the camera and that my friends is perfect so I just eyeballed it in the center there and of course we are going to do like so just to Press it down. How's that? Now, um, where's my little? Yeah, they are. Let's just get that out the way. These little babies are going to go here. And it's upside down, this way, yeah. <laughs> Again, more or less in the middle. Uh, and it's going to go on top, so, to make the flap. Again, into my corners. Do it and down. Wipe away any excess glue if you're using glue. Oops. And let's do the same here. Okay, I'm going to make sure I line it up with this one on the edge. Yep, that's done. So that goes there. So these go in here and this comes on top and of course this pocket will get glued onto that page but wait we're still going to do one thing and i know you think these are ugly and it is but once you put a photograph you'll have to crop it of course it will cover that um that black edge so you'll get that see we're still going to put another pocket in here just a small one Again, I'm going for the bits and pieces that are here, but I think it would be nice to have a, s yes, what do you think? And of course, we're putting in a pocket there, so we'll still have, but I'm going to bring it down. Of course, I could also leave that, but now I'm confusing you now, 
confuse myself too. <laughs> so I'm just gonna again, how did I do the other one? I'm just checking it here. Okay, that's what I did there, which is fine. So using my pencil, a bit and up to here so I'm going to just mark it here and I'm going to mark it here now I'm going to give myself an extra half inch there and half an inch on the other side so I'm going to cut this it measures four so I'm going to cut it four and a half okay and then with my little this is how I do it. <laughs> I love this dark color. So, um, no, I want the flap. Yeah, I'm going to do it this way because then we can decorate the top with something, you know. And then I'm just going to measure this a little bit long with the okay anyway there I bought it here let's do a flap there again and then I'm gonna cut it so it's half an inch Go. Oops, wrong way. And then one more. So I wasn't happy with this being so far up here because I wanted room to take things out, you know. So what I did is I just took off another half an inch and refolded it. So this is all about four inches without the, no I'm lying, it's about, what is that, I can't even see, the light is three and three quarter inch, let me measure it on here, three and a quarter, so it's three and a quarter, no, it's uh, almost four inches long the whole thing, okay, and then the half inch for that, so we're just going to glue that on, and then, glue or tape Let's do the other side and uh, I like to do my side flaps in or the bottom flap over the sides oopsie See, you can just wipe it away if it goes in the wrong place. <laughs> just do here. Do here again because I think it dried. I took too long. There we go. Ooh, what's the matter? I think something's stuck out there. It wasn't coming out. Then we are going to glue the pocket close to the edge here. Just make sure you can still take it over. And there. So we have another pocket. Even in my journals, <laughs> I love to put my pockets in. Just makes it more interesting. More stuff to interact with. So that is your first page. And uh, here it is. So this whole thing now, I am going to stick it on here. Let's do that quickly. Now you see I don't have a flap here. Don't always need to make a flap there. This also, having them on the sides provides uh, 
um, enough room to put things in or vertebrates in there. Like so. And then I just put a little bit, because it's just to stop stuff from falling out. That's all. So there, that's going here. Line it up. Make sure everything is lining up nicely. And go, yep, edge to edge. Here we go. Then I normally lift it up to make sure it sticks. How about that? And to close, I'll do the closure next time, but for this closure, all I'm going to do. I haven't got my glue gun on, that's why I'm not doing it now. I do have various colours. Look at this gorgeous, I don't have much of it though. Maybe I'll just do the first and last page. Yeah, my, my glue gun is not on, so I'll do that off camera and then I'll show you. So that is your number one page. So if you've got your cover, so let's say you open it, that's number one. So I will be back with part two of the Pretty Mosaic tutorial and uh, we can continue from there. I hope you enjoyed this. Please do let me know and if you have any questions then just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks now. Ciao.